Speaking of Irma, nobody quite knows the strength of a Category 5 storm like Boise State student Maddie Gortat. Now she's back home in Boise now after surviving Hurricane Irma as it tore apart islands in the Caribbean. Her journey home involved a rescue from the Coast Guard and a stop at a Puerto Rico hospital, all to help an injured friend. Six on your side's Michael Severn reports. <laughs> As Hurricane Irma barreled its way towards mainland U.S., 21-year-old Maddie Gortat safely landed in Boise after escaping the devastation on St. Thomas Island in the Caribbean. Are you okay? <laughs> it was a lot worse than we expected it to be. Uh, I don't think I've ever been more scared for my life. The Boise State nursing student was studying on the island when one of the most powerful storms ever recorded in the Atlantic hit Wednesday afternoon. Maddie says she and some friends rode out the storm in a bathroom, shielding themselves in a bathtub with a mattress on top. By the time we made the decision to get her out, then it was too late. All the flights were booked. Nothing there. We just couldn't get her out. Maddie was unharmed when the storm passed and going outside for the first time, she saw just how destructive Irma can be. It was devastating. Uh, everything was just a mess. Every telephone pool was on the, on the ground. Um, there were cars that were flipped over. All the houses around us, all of their roofs came off. We were actually the only house in that area that kept our roofs. While walking around the devastated island, her friend from Canada, Alex, slipped and suffered a head injury. With the local hospital destroyed, Alex and Maddie were rescued by the U.S. Coast Guard, taken to Puerto Rico. I woke up to a phone call saying, this is the U.S. Coast Guard and we have your daughter, Maddie. Maddie says they left with only the clothes on their backs and no shoes. She says strangers and even a TV journalist helped her in Puerto Rico, giving her clothes and a phone charger, acting as a translator with hospital staff before flying home. It was an emotional roller coaster. I was crying a lot. <laughs> Pretty much every phone I could get to, I was calling my mom. Despite just escaping the worst of Hurricane Irma, Maddie says she still wants to go back to St. Thomas to help her friends still on the island. If I can go back and help or do anything anytime soon, then I definitely will go. But her mom says next time she'll be tagging along, keeping a close eye on her daughter. She thinks I was a hover mother before. She has no idea. <laughs> Michael Severin, six on your side. Well, we are also so glad she's okay. And Maddie tells us her friend Alex, who suffered that head injury, is now back home in Canada recovering.